Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. Let's build the second entry in the I was sick last week and therefore couldn't talk and therefore recorded a bunch of let's builds and by a bunch I mean three uh, to comment over later. So here is the second one and we're building a jet because jets are, well, I was about to say jets are small, they can be small, they're not always small, it depends on how small or big you make them. So, the main thing I want to do uh, with this one is mainly for giggles and I guess practice, is uh, just make an as a jet. So what that means is, is just when you've got custom jets, or they don't have to be custom jets, I use custom jets because I am totally in love with custom jets at the moment. Um, Basically, you have them on spin blocks, and then you can control their pitch and yaw and roll uh, that way, without having to stick other things on. So I guess, kind of airplane, but also thruster craft, I suppose? And anyway, so uh, a few things I tried uh, with this little build, one of which is uh, figuring out ahead of time, uh, well done me, uh, how much ammunition you'd need, because I do want to drop large bombs on this. And there's a few other things I tried that I actually haven't tried uh, in, an, in a while and um, I, with mixed success. One of which is probably um, setting uh, azimuth restraints on, uh, on the missile controller. So it only drops the missile sometimes, which didn't actually seem to help that much. But yeah, so uh, here we go. We've got large things, large uh, rail gantries. And are going to be dropped as a bomb. And like the last, like the last video I uploaded, it's actually been a hot second before um, uh, since I um, actually recorded this, uh, this original footage you're watching right now. So I don't remember everything about what I've done. So yeah. So yeah, this is like this. Is, it's very handy when you're building, particularly combat craft, is know ahead of time. Uh, how much ammunition you need uh, so that you can, you know, uh, do, do things correctly. And in this particular case, I dropped a little bit extra in there because um, I wanted to, you know, keep the option of having a decoy flares open and um, or doing what I'm doing right now, which is um, staggering out the ammunition. I love this trick, by the way. It was suggested to me uh, many moons ago uh, by a clever person in the comments. One of the things that I am very blessed with as a content creator is that um, it's partially because of the ge the game I cover, the game being for the desk, but there are lots of clever people in the comments, and they're full of clever things. Or at the very least, they're more experienced in this game than I am, uh, even if it's just in a specific thing, and they know stuff, and it's really cool, and I learn stuff, and it's fantastic. But any but, uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about the jet fighter. The, the jet fighter? I should say the jet thing that is currently being built. Um, I have a weakness for penetrator frag, and so I think that is what, yep, that's what we're doing. Which is, I guess, I don't know, you kind of need a much bigger frag warhead than this in order to actually uh, get away with that kind of thing. I'm just kind of addicted to it because I like poking holes and things. Uh, I like poking holes in enemy craft, I like poking holes in arguments, uh, especially my own, and yeah, that's basically it really. Also, uh, whenever I see fragments miss, it causes me uh, emotional distress, a small amount of, so I guess that's why I like narrow angle frag, even though in many respects it's not as good as um, not narrow angle frag. So yeah, that's... Uh, that's why I use narrow angle frag. I guess, like, it's not a good reason, but then again, not everything in From the Depths is done for a good reason. Or maybe the good reason is highly subjective. Why did I do that? I am looking. This is. Once again, this is very much me looking at my past self doing this and thinking, hmm, past borderwise, why is you do the things that you do? And I don't even remember if I needed to stick a, a connection block in here. I certainly didn't need to do it there. My excuse, just like uh, the last video I put up, is that um, I lit quite literally had flu on the brain. By which I don't mean that I had a, a viral infection in my brain, because that is very bad news. 
but rather it's uh, just, you know, I wasn't, I was very low energy and wasn't thinking clearly. Although to be, let's be honest, I pretty much never thinking 100% clearly uh, when recording a video. It's the magic of hitting the record button that makes you stupid. Or more stupid. In any case, um, the tale of this particular jet, um, it turned out kind of interesting, and I say interesting because I don't necessarily think it was good, because I kind of ended up uh, sandwiching it between metal plates, which while being better than completely unarmored, is still not super amazing. Also, I completely forgot that there's connection strut uh, wing blocks. Uh, that I could have used um, in this. Oh well, I'll have to remember next time, hopefully. Incidentally, those um, customizable control surface things, I just use them to smooth out uh, the edges of uh, fins, and I don't think I've ever actually used them for, you know, anything more than that. I just use them because they look pretty. So you just do that, and it looks cool, and then everything's fine and dandy. And this thing is already starting to look much like a jet. Oh no. Why did I eat a lot of carbohydrates before recording this? Why did I do that thing, which is probably not a good idea? I'll tell you why. It's because if I record when I'm hungry, it's even worse. Also, the wings, uh, I needed to uh, give some more thought to the wings, I think. Uh, yeah, this is like, and this is one of the reasons why I'm fond of EziJets, is because just the other day, um, you gotta find, you gotta find it, uh, but what, there we go, in the sin blocks, which is a misspelling, which I have never bothered to, uh, which I have absolutely never bothered to correct, and, uh, yeah, so, yeah, thankfully I remember which way round that thing goes, and, yep, there is... There is our friend the Azajet, which I... It is, if you ever are stuck for something to do in From the Depths, when you want to do some From the Depths, just make a handy prefab, and make it a pretty prefab as well, at the same time. I've now made a number of handy dandy prefabs, which I'm actually using a lot. It's, uh, it's fan dabby dozy, and I believe that I do manage to get the roll of this uh, right first time, because that's all those Ezijets are doing. They're providing forward thrust, but also a little bit of roll just by tilting up and down a little bit. Which I love doing. It's not necessarily the best use of a custom jet engine, which is very strong. But yeah. No, I'll give you one again. No! Save me! Okay, so. As you can probably guess um, just by the length of this video, in this particular little Let's Build. I wasn't feeling like being tremendously ambitious, because like, you know, there's like one or two new things I tried here, and um, not much else. But uh, yeah, it's just like, if you like, one of the great things about building small craft in front of the depths is that it doesn't take much time, and if you make a mistake, you can kind of fix it almost, well, instantly. In this particular case, um, well, yeah, what do I end up doing for most of this video? I think it just, uh, it's... Aircraft is one of those things, since they're small, or jets, small jets at the very least, uh, you build them, and it's nice and quick, and then what tends to follow is just a lot of tweaking to get them to do exactly what you want them to do. Incidentally, um, this thing is not very EMP-proof because, you know, there's not really much room in this uh, for uh, sticking, you know, like a proper stone... Uh, AI compartment to create a kind of Faraday cage effect with the alloy and like the AI is very near to the ammo and stuff like that but always with these uh, kind of jets um, they rely on being fast and evasive in order to not horribly die oh, and that's me testing uh, the roll control just to make sure it looks uh, good and it looks good except it looks a little bit funny with the way I've stuck up them on the wings like that so what tend to, where do I, what am I, what am I doing? What am I doing? This is me trying to think of ways to make this look slightly less bad, and I immediately fail. Although I think I actually do end up rolling with that. So yeah, it's a, it's always interesting. You figure out as you go, and this is actually one of the reasons why um, I don't really do live commentaries on uh, Let's Builds anymore because. 
I can't do science and talk uh, at the same time. Like, multitasking is one of the... I forget the statistics, but... I think, like, less than 2% of people can effectively multitask, as in, they can do more than one thing at once, and they can maintain uh, efficiency and effectiveness in both those tasks. Uh, most people, um, you try to do more than one thing at once, and, well, you know how it goes, that you end up doing both things a lot worse. Like, a lot worse. Ever tried, um, uh, brushing your teeth? And, um, what's it like, bro? Wow, my brain just completely failed to come up with an example. I think my favorite is, like, um, trying to... Well, I think it was actually a few Let's Builds ago. I was, like, I was, I was just so checked out. I was playing a mobile game uh, while um, doing the Let's Build. And here's the point where I realized that um, roll control needs to be considerably less strong in order for this to work. So, right, there we go, just a little bit, and of course it means this thing rocks from side to side a lot, which is why I perhaps shouldn't um, uh, use this design too often. Yeah, so, like, we've got a functional jet, but not necessarily a very a smooth flying one. Honestly, it's probably a better idea to use jets like this for pitch control, because... Uh, that means you got a kind of beautiful sine wave thing uh, that uh, is nice and evasive, and merely rolling from side to side really doesn't do the trick. Also, this thing could be a lot faster, but these are about as small as custom jets get, and it's still going um, like 100 meters per second, so that's uh, that's not bad. Also, I'm really looking forward to the um, the update that's currently in beta test. Like, if you haven't seen my video on that, go watch it, and if you haven't tried out beta test for yourself, Go do that, because there's all kinds of lovely things in there uh, that are lovely to play around with. And one of them is that the freaking um, decoy mesh um, doesn't um, it doesn't lag behind the craft when it's moving. So it means that you don't have to do what I've done here and caps lock the thing so you can mess with the decorations properly. And yeah, I am just adding this deco right here just to make the wings look slightly less silly. I am addicted to decoration now, simply because they, you know, they they just smooth things out and they make things pretty. It's just here, there, and there, here, there, and everywhere, they make a pretty thing. Yeah. And I look at that and I say, yes, that is good. And now we're looking back here, and I think this is the part where I decide, you know what, we need to, we need to deal with this, I think. Yeah, interesting. Yep, so this is kind of a weird uh, thing to do that I don't think looks particularly good, but yeah, it's like, I don't know, like, I'm not even sure why I did this, it's just, it's kind of just basic flak proofing, because I tend to find uh, that uh, flak is very, very good at, like, shredding uh, aircraft control surfaces. I think that's the number one thing it's really good at. So, if you've ever, and I almost guarantee everyone uh, watching this has at some point, shot at deep water guard uh, planes uh, with flak, you'll see that one of the first things to fly off is um, things like the ailerons and the air elevators and the um, aerial rudders and stuff like that. And so something like this, I guess it's better than nothing. It does look a little strange, and to be perfectly honest with you, like, um, armoring um, your control surfaces at this scale, it's like, it would be actually be smarter to kind of make, make an armored tube uh, towards the end of the plane. See, I'm like, I've stuck some uh, aerial elevators in, in the back there uh, anyway, which means that the fins on either side are kind of superfluous, but uh, at the same time, it's spare air elevators, is very handy. And this is the ill-fated um, uh, azimuth uh, constraint, which I usually don't do for bombers, actually. Uh, because, you know, it's just, it, it's a smart bomb, so you just drop it and it finds its way to the target. And then, uh, yeah. Also, possibly not the best idea to use... Um, 
what do you might call it? This particular kind of oh yeah, the rail gantries uh, for bombs because ideally you do want ejectors on them. And for some reason, I have no idea why I set the range so high for that. I think I was uh, overestimating how far these bombs can fly. I'm gonna take me hoodie off because I'm too warm and comfortable and I'm getting sleepy, so... Whip off the shirt, whip off the shirt. And the tips start flying. Uh, the tips of shoes are while, well, when people say, put your clothes back on, have some decency. So yeah, this is basically the um, uh, the the most of this jet done, really, because it's it's flying, it's maneuvering properly. I remember the bad old days uh, when planes were almost impossible to get. Well, I don't want to say impossible. It was just really difficult to get them doing what you wanted them to. And oh yeah, there's some camo. There is some beautiful camo, some camouflage, some camouflage. Yay! I don't think that did anything to the wings, but okay. So yeah, that's it's amazing. You put camo on something and it immediately looks like a thousand times better. And this is the point where I realize that um, this thing uh, doesn't fly high enough uh, to have the bomb uh, dropping range uh, be what it is. And I want to apologize tremendously for everybody who gets motion sick, because yeah, that's bad. We and of course I like I catch myself just now because I do actually want to see uh, what the results on uh, here are and they are actually pretty good. Um, it would be a lot better if they landed on top of the thing. So pitch towards target point and you need to adjust that roll and you need to adjust a lot of things, mate. So yeah, and there's the bombs away again, and this is not so good, because they can't corner for peanuts. Whoop. I think one of them actually, they were going to hit anyway. I'm not sure what I was doing here, because like, you do want to see the results of the bombs, even if they, well, there you see, you would have seen some block confetti fall off the Marauder. And I didn't zoom in and see it, so it's bad cameramanship on my part. But that's because, I don't know. Maybe I was in a rush. I was in a rush to, like, stop and take a nap. Yeah, oh boy. See, even if, uh, yeah, this is why when you're sick you gotta relax completely, because otherwise, uh, with the totally relatable experience of recording YouTube videos, uh, what happens is that uh, you rush building your airplane. When you are sick, don't build airplanes because you rush the job and you don't do as good a job as you uh, perhaps should. Actually, I'm just watching this fling, this, this fling. I'm watching this fling fly again, and I do have to say, I quite like it. It is a fun craft that I, I literally just made. I really should make one uh, that flies in space. Wouldn't that be fun? I do actually think that smart bombs are... Um, I think the nerf that happened a few patches ago to missiles, in particular the one that um, a missile speed, or thrust rather, and uh, their, their ability to steer uh, gets um, less good uh, when they get damaged. I think smart bombs are a little bit nerfed by that because they're slow, which means that uh, sea whiz and lambs and other things have a lot of time to kind of damage them. So yeah, it's like, I'm not, not a huge fan of smart bombers anymore. The best bombers I've uh, seen in, I guess, recently, uh, they actually use, um, well, APS. Because APS is like, you know, just harder to counter than missiles are. Although I did build a space bomber uh, not too long ago that I should probably get back to, because um, I think if I make a bigger, nasty version of it, it can probably take on the Megalodon. No promises. In fact, that is something I should work on. I should make that space bomber, put huge missiles on it, and it could be like, okay, here is our Meg killer. And once again, I'm gonna need to caps lock this damn thing. Yep, there it is, so the decoration uh, mesh doesn't bounce around. It's amazing what you get used to. Um, well, in, in life in general, but also, like, in From the Depths, 
and then the new patch comes along and there's just a small teeny eeny weeny uh, quality of life improvement there's the freaking ambulance helicopter again someone has got a boo-boo and they are attending to it and I wish them the best of luck but I also wish they'd hurry up and land so they're less noisy they are real the local hospital is very busy because I think it's it's one of the bigger ones uh, in the neighborhood so they fling they like whenever people go hiking or something uh, they always get flown over there because they've well they've got the helicopter landing pad now I want to build helicopters I want to build a helicopter that is a lot quieter than that one which keeps making noise can you please stop it ye gods Anyway, as a jet bomber, um, I should not be telling the uh, hospital helicopter to be quiet, because look what I've made here. I have made an instrument of war and destruction to blow up innocent marauders. Maybe the helicopter is actually flying uh, the marauder crew uh, that, um, that I just bombed um, over to the hospital, because ye gods, they're badly near. They've got electrical burns from the EMP, which, by the way, the missiles have some EMP in them, they use their spa space for that. And, yeah. This is just, I guess, a little bit of, what do you would call it? Science. Because it's always nice to know uh, when your bombs can take down airships. And in this particular case, this isn't a good uh, matchup, because the Paraiba actually has a fair amount of missile interceptors, which, um, uh, tend to fry the bombs. The main thing I wanted to do was test whether this uh, whether this jet is good at evading uh, flak, and it seems to be doing reasonably well. And, and once again, I need to just freaking uh, just make sure that the thing uh, has a good attack run, and just you know it drops its bombs at the right time. And there go the bombs; they got fried. So, I realize that is a dumb thing to, um, uh, to do, to test on, and I'm like, at this point I'm like, yeah, this is pretty much done. This is an Azijet bomber, it does all the Azijet bomber things that you could possibly want it to, and just there I took a screenshot, uh, for vanity purposes. I am just very, uh, screenshot happy, uh, these days. I just take screenshots willy-nilly, which actually hardly ever get used in thumbnails, because, um, you no... Know, uh, because, you know, I tend to find better images for that. So, I guess that's, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, just a wee Azzy Jet Bomber thing. Um, feel free to make your own. It's, why did I say that? I can't tell you what to do. All I can do is recommend doing uh, fun things, because fun things are fun, and you only have one life, and you might as well use it <laughs> to, <laughs> to build aircraft in a video game. So... On that merry note, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Let's build just one more uh, minor, minor Sniffles era Let's Build video and then we can get back to other stuff, I promise. Farewell.